was a stunner last night, guys. Uh, this Vikings team came out to play. Credit to Brian Flores. Love to see it. 22-17. And I have to give him credit here first and early. After that first interception, Kirk Cousins was as good as we have ever seen him. He threw for 378 yards against what is supposed to be just the the infinity gauntlet of the Niners defense. He You saw Bosa out there like Baywatch running, like with Mr. him with his new skims deal standing next to Neymar, saying like talking about size, the size man. What are you doing, Bosa? We'll get to that eventually. But this defense did not have it last night. I mean, Kirk was sharp. This was the guy with the Kirko chains. You know, I came back from Italy this summer, and Kirk Cousins was the coolest quarterback in the National Football League because that quarterback show that Netflix did such a great job with. And and then we kind of went away. And it's, oh, okay, oh, nobody's picking them. Like, their, their odds aren't great on FanDuel Sports. None of it. The O-line deserves a ton of credit here, too. He had clean pockets all night, and he wasn't sacked at all on 45 dropbacks. So credit to everybody involved. And even with this guy on the other side, just a special performance. This guy running, doing what he does, the whole world's a loser. Losing their mind. I can't wait to ask Gronk about this tomorrow in our weekly chats with Rob Gronkowski. Uh, and we're going to talk about Wemby and that wingspan with Shams here on the show as well. But if you look at this Vikings side, no Justin Jefferson. We see Jordan Addison Jordan rips in a pick away and is like, I'm scoring this touchdown. A breakout. I love this for Jordan Addison because he deserved a breakout game under the bright lights. He's been balling all year long. He goes, this isn't happening to me. I, this catch is the leader in the clubhouse for play of the year already for me. Jordan finished with seven catches for 123 yards and two scores on the day. He also drew a couple of huge penalties, which do not go unnoticed to this team here at Up and Adams. Big stuff. And that's to get Vikings first downs. A star under the bright lights, finally getting his love. Okay, the Vikings, by the way, oh my gosh, they're in such good position. They've won three of their four games this month. They're turning it on. They, they embrace Spooktober, like Taylor Lewan would say. They like it. They're a half game back of a playoff spot and three and four. It didn't help, Eric, that your Packers decided to cough one up to Sean Payton's squad. <laughs> You're just right there. You're in my line of I know. fire. Still not the Bears, but it's starting to feel like okay. it, you know? <laughs> High draft picks for my Bears. All right. The Bears got to win. I and mean, they've got the, the arm wrestling dad that's going viral for them. So cool. Uh, like, yeah, that's, yeah, look, really, 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 NFC North, you couldn't keep the Vikings down? No, you couldn't. The toughest part of the schedule for this Minnesota team's also in their rearview mirror. In fact, the only team they play with a winning record over the next eight weeks is the Falcons. That's the only squad. Are, you, are we kidding? I'm going to call it right now. They're going to claw right back into the playoff picture after what was a bleak and dismal one and three start. But can I just say something? Nick Bosa at the podium yesterday said after the loss said, you know, we came out hot. I mean, we have Debo on our show every week and he's feeling, you know, he's confident we're undefeated him and Micah, blah, 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 blah. And Nick Bosa, do we have the clip of Bosa? Can we play it of him at the podium? Okay, let's take a listen to Bosa. Start. You kind of get that confidence that um, we are who we need to be and um, but NFL does that it's good players good good schemes um, and we're gonna face another good team this week uh, so we gotta be ready now, as somebody who likes a bit of adversity, so somebody who is fueled by a chip on my shoulder, somebody who likes to be put into corners, I would not want to be the hot, sparkly team that's 5-0 and to start the season or 6-0 and or like to go on that purdy streak from last year. I would rather be the team that goes 1-3, and three, nobody's talking about me, the sky is falling, I've got a division championship in my back pocket from last year that nobody's talking about to fuel me, get over and deal with some tough stuff, and then roll the rest of the way. I'd rather be the Vikings this morning.